Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new episode on this channel. We are back in Sketch, but before we are starting the episode, I would like to tell you about a few things that I'm planning, a few things that are really relevant to me. Um, I would like to do a Q&A in one of the next videos. So if you have any questions about freelancing, about designing and about like maybe SketchUp TV or the YouTube channel or whatever, just write them down in the comment section or send them to me using Twitter. So I would like to do a Q&A. I would also like to um, create a review of the new camera bag that I have because I think some of you are also interested in photography and uh, maybe camera bags and I have a new one finally after like three years and I really enjoy using it. I tested it out once and it just has been amazing for me. Another thing that I'm planning is to do a review or comparison between the two microphones that I'm using. So one is the new one that I got right here and the other one is that the one that I have on my camera. Both have about the same price but they sound totally different and they have to totally different use cases but I would still would like to compare them so this is another thing that I'm planning and I would like to deep to dive in into uh, more wireframings and sketchings on paper so I think this will also be part of the Q&A video so as I said send me your questions but of course we are going to dive into sketch right now I have opened up the Nike detail article uh, that, that we created in like this first live stream video and I'm going to just uh, rename the layer detail page. What I would like to do is to expand this UI right now to maybe create a UI kit uh, over the time. So I would like today to create a list view of different articles and uh, from this list view you can go over to this detail page. Um, so what we're going to do is to copy the uh, the detail page just like that. So we have two ones and I'm going to go back to the first one and this is going to be the list page just like that. So the next thing uh, that we're going to do is to change this back button to or this back icon to a menu icon because uh, we are not in a detail view, so we can simply go over to change it. So I grabbed it from the maturity design icons. These icons are also linked down below if you would like to download and use them. But of course you could also just use your own ones if you like different ones. Okay, so let's put it in the right position like that. Boom and simply hide or get rid of this back layer. So this is the first step and the next thing is to change this page name. I'm going to call it just Nike right about like that. Now we have this whole content area right here and we are really going to change it. Actually what we are going to do is to just delete all of it. We don't need it anymore. We are going to start over from a new plain document. So we have our top bar ready. And the next thing that we're going to create is a second menu or like tab bar, which we maybe are even able to pick from a pre-created uh, template. So we somehow have some scope bars like right there, but they are not what we want to use. Maybe we can do, maybe we can like copy it from the material design icons, uh, from the material de design UI kit. Um, I gotta say this UI kit right here isn't that great in comparison to the, to the last one to the iOS one, but we have this uh, tab bar right here. So we can actually just choose it, just copy it and try it out. So we got it right there. Oops. And we are going to just place it in into our design. Of course, now we have to really adapt it to the, to the design that we are currently already created. So I 
need to align it to the left and we have to make it a little bit bigger. So just about like that. We can also of course just uh, change the size to about like that. And the background shouldn't have any shadows because this would really mix up our design concept. I mean, you could of course work with shadows, but we didn't uh, do that before. So I recommend, it, recommend you not implementing it right now. Of course, we could implement a cool color like somehow like that to work with a secondary color which could be kind of cool like that. Of course, we need to change this indicator to mix the new color. So also simply select the color that we worked with and probably change it to a darker one. So now we have some categories, some tabs that we can work with. And I'm simply going to call this uh, shoes because we are currently in the shoe tab. This can be um, pants or whatever. And this could be shirts. So we have three different um, tabs, different, different categories. And we are currently, as I said, in the shoe tab. So the next thing, the next item that we are adding is a content item. So from the content items that we are going to create now, you can simply tap and click them to head over to the detail page. So these are quite important and we are creating them right now. So start out by clicking R to create a new rectangle and simply create it in about this size. So you can uh, like have some diff uh, some paddings to the, to the um, to the edges and to this, the right and left side. And I would of course like to have a square just like that and get rid of the border and choose a certain background color like about that. We are going to create like a, uh, how should I call it? We are going to just uh, create all the outlines and the content will be placed in later on. So we can simply use it as a like pattern for upcoming uh, content um, items. So this is the background. So call it BG or whatever. And I would like to have a small area right here in this top right edge, which would also be a rectangle maybe also a shape like that, um, a square like that. And what I would like to do is to rotate it a little bit, like in 45 degrees. And we have to expand it a little bit about like that. I would like to have a certain area in this top right side that if we mask it, and if I may maybe change the color a little bit, just to like that, we could simply place in several cool things in this area. We could display a discount. We could uh, display a, an icon or a button, which is enabling the user to add this to the card really, really easy. And I think we are going to do just that. So this is going to be the area to add something to your shopping bag, to your card. Um, maybe we find a better icon because we already used the, sh the shopping bag right here. I would like to have a different one. Maybe we can have a plus or something like that to show that you can add it to something. Um, we could simply write a plus in within the text layer. But I just simply copy this clear icon. And if I paste it in this shape right here and turn it by 45 degrees, we also have a simple plus created. Okay, so this is going to be the, 
this is going to be like the plus shape to, to add it to your card. Just like that. Make it a little bit bigger. And <laughs> this looks kind of cool somehow. Okay, so reposition it. Just like that. And in this area right here that we still have available, we are going to add some content elements, of course. We are going to add a photo. We are also going to add a, a title, like a name of the shoe. And we are going to add a price. So I already prepared some shoes. I already downloaded some of them. So I can simply drag them in. And so we have it right here available to us. We can simply change the size just like that. What you could also do instead of dragging it in and having like a mask, I'm going to show it to you in a second. Just want to drag it in correctly like that. What you could also do is to go to your background. I'm going to hide this for now. Go to fill and you can over get over to uh, pattern fill or whatever and I think you can simply drag in a photo. So let's drag in the same one. So now you see you have this one available right here within your uh, within your background. So you have you have it available. You can uh, change the size so it's also repeating if you would like to create like a grid. So we can simply scale it down to about like this, which is just working fine for us. And you can also select some other ways to just say it should uh, fill this one. You can say it should fit or it should stretch. So we could work with that, but we could also just work with the mask. So whatever you would like to do, just do it. The mask is helping us. If I would like to place the photo maybe around like this within the background. So I think this can also be achieved somehow with the background fill, but it's also quite easy to just have it in this mask. So yeah, we we're gonna work with that for now. And as I said, ah, okay. Yeah, we would like, I would like to add a I would like to add a text, as I said, the, the text of the shoe and some pricing information. So we are now more flexible if we simply go for this mask version because it's easier for us to then just reposition the content within our mask because I would like to display the information below our shoe. So I have the shoe around like this and then I need to go back at a color fill and we are simply going to fill it with the shoe color, the background of the shoe image. Um, so this is going to be the title layer. Cl simply create a new one and I'm going to call it Nike Fly Night. I'm going to make it black, change the font to you, whatever you would like to work with around like this, center it up and I'm going to copy it and paste it below to just create some information about the price. So we can simply like go for this one. This is some basic uh, pricing information. I'm not really getting into details because we did this quite often before. We can maybe even change the color to about like this. So now that we have the first item, we can simply group it up, call it item one and copy it. So and place it just below the actual first one. About like that. So this is simply working for us. I'm going to expand our list page just a little bit so we can work on the details a little bit more. Like, ah, oh, you can also resize the fit. 
but expanding it just a little bit, just like that. So we have the item number two and I'm going to place in a different photo within our mask. So this is, as I said, easier for us to be more flexible when positioning the photo. But uh, there are many cases in which you can also just place it in the background of your, like as a fill in the background layer. So we have our second shoe right there. I'm going to compare it to the first one so we can place it in kind of cool, just like that. I'm going to give it a different name. So I'm going to call these nice uh, Nike, Nike Jungle. Maybe giving them a different price tag, making them a little bit cheaper, just like that. So you see right now, um, we worked with a different color. So this blue right here isn't really related to the blue that we have in this bottom area relating to the button. So what we can do to have the same colors within our app, we could simply choose the background color from this one and we have to also change the color of our indicator to the background color and can darken it up, lighting it up or do whatever it takes to make it really visible that there is an indicator. I think it's maybe a little bit hard to see that there is a indicator. So this will work better if we change the height to three pixels, just like that. Okay guys, this was the second video tutorial about these this Nike app. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to post your questions on this comment section or on Twitter. And I would like to just have your feedback on these videos. If you like it, hit the thumb but up button or subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks guys for your time and we see us in the next one. This video was sponsored by Dev Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12 week design bootcamp intended to get you a full time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!